Hello productive people, welcome back to another Notion video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing seven Notion shortcuts that I know I couldn't live without when using Notion. These are just going to speed up your workflow and Notion actually has 100 plus keyboard shortcuts, but in today's video, I'm just gonna be sharing the most important ones with you so that they're easy to remember because it's pretty hard to remember, you know, 100 plus shortcuts, but seven shortcuts, now that's doable. So. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna share these shortcuts starting right now. All right, so the first shortcut that you're definitely going to wanna know about is actually mentioned when you first open up your Notion page. It just says type slash for commands. So what you do is you just type slash anywhere inside of a Notion page to view all block options. Okay, so I'm gonna hit slash. Then after hitting slash, follow it up with any block type. So you just write out any block type. So let's say I wanted to pull up a call out. I could type call out and then it will automatically suggest a block, then hit enter to initiate that block type, enter. And as you can see, we now have call out. If I enter down again and hit slash, I can do this process all over again. I could create a heading one, hit enter again and hit slash once again, you do a code block. So overall, that's how you use the slash command. And I recommend actually just getting in the habit of typing out whatever block type you're trying to reference. There's a few different types of lists that you can create in Notion, and now I'm going to show you how to quickly create lists. So shortcut number two that you want to focus on is quick lists. So there's a few ways that you can do this. You can do a to-do list, you can do a bullet list, or you can do a number list. So just to show you guys an example here, I'm just going to first do the to-do list, which is bracket and then closed bracket, and it will start a to-do. So I could write out to-do list item one and then if i hit enter i can add to do list item two now let's say i hit enter and then i wanted to add another level to this hierarchy i could hit tab and that would actually tab that in and we could create some subtasks next is the bullet list and to create a bullet list you just hit the slash button and then hit space and it will start your bullet list so bullet item one if I hit enter, I can tab in once again and I can add sub items. I can also tab in yet another time, like I can tab in as many as I want to. So sub sub items, okay? You can do that as many times as you want. And then finally, the numbered list. So for a numbered list, you just start typing one dot space and now it's created a number list. So number one, enter, and then we're gonna get number two here. If I wanted to tab in on this, it's actually going to give us some letters and then it's going to, let's just enter down again, tab in again. Then it's gonna start going uh, like Roman numerals, lowercase Roman numerals. So it kind of has three levels to this hierarchy here, number, letter, lowercase i's, and then back to numbers. When you're browsing through Notion, sometimes you just wanna find something very quickly, but what's the quickest way to find something that could be in any of your Notion pages? Well, that is a little shortcut called Command P. So Command P will allow you to globally search throughout Notion. So I'm just gonna hit Command plus P, and that's going to bring up our uh, global search. So I could search for something like Notes. And then if I wanted to, I could just kind of arrow through these and I could find the notes that I wanted. So as you can see, this has 252 results. So there's quite a few, uh, there's quite a few uh, referenced pages that have notes in the title or notes contained within them. So uh, you can get as detailed as you want with this, but let's say I type notes, then you can actually add filters in here. So you can filter it by only match titles or in page or created by, uh, sort by, and you can you can categorize it this way as well. So this is kind of the global search feature. And I like how it has these filters as well. Next, we're going to look at toggling between dark mode and light mode quickly using Notion. Now to do this, it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is hit command shift plus L and you can quickly switch between light mode and dark mode. Now, when it comes to styling text and you want to quickly change the look and feel of your text, I'm going to be showing you some styling shortcuts next. So some of these are pretty common, like universally across different softwares. I'm gonna show you how these work. So we have command plus B to get bold. So if I highlight some text 
like here and I hit command B, that'll make that bold. I can then highlight something else. And if I hit command I, that'll make it italic. We also have command U for underline, command U. And if we want to strike through any of this, we can do command shift S that'll strike through some text. So this isn't the only way to style your text. You can also use markdown. So markdown is a bit quicker. If you don't want to use the keyboard shortcuts, you can just type it out. So if I wanted to do bold, I would just do two stars and then I would type whatever I want and then close it out with two stars. And that would actually make it bold like so. I can do the same with underscores for italic. And then I can also do tildes for strike through. Like that. So that's a bit quicker if you wanted to do it that way. I don't have this listed out for this tip, but I do want to show you one more quick styling tip when it comes to using your Notion workspace. So one thing you can do is you can actually type slash and then you can type the color that you want. So if you wanted to have specifically like red text, you could type slash red, and then you could hit enter and then you could start typing and it will actually make it red. Then again, I could go back to slash blue, let's just say and it would change it back to blue slash green to green. So that's a pretty nice way to just quickly add some text color. Next, I'm going to show you how to zoom in and out using Notion. So I'm just gonna paste some text into here. This is just some lorem ipsum. Uh, let's say that we had a bunch of text in a Notion page and I just wanted to zoom in on that a little bit. If I wanted to zoom in, I would just hit command and the plus button and that would zoom me in every time I tap plus. And then I can just arrow around to uh, go where I wanna go and read this text. If I wanted to go back out, I could just hit command plus minus, and that would send me as far back out as I wanted to go. And you can kind of just toggle this as you go. You can zoom around and you can read text a little bit easier. I just think that's a little bit quicker than manually zooming in, so. Uh, yeah, that's something to remember. If you ever want to reference a person, a time, a date, a page, anything in Notion, you can do that using a simple at command. So let me show you what I mean. If we're in Notion and we hit the at button, it's going to allow me to select a person, link to a page, set a date or a reminder, for instance. So I could just start typing anything out. So let's say, hey, at Carter, this is the tagging page. Remember to edit it at today. So now that will uh, reference today. And if I set a reminder here on day of event at 9 a.m., that would make it past due. I could make it tomorrow. And now it will actually notify me. Now, those are my seven Notion shortcuts that I think everyone ought to learn. But here is one more bonus shortcut before we go. So if you are in your web browser, you can actually type into the address bar notion dot so slash new, you can hit enter. And that will actually generate a new page on your Notion workspace. So as soon as I open this up, boom, I've got a new page and I can start working right away. So uh, if you ever just have a quick idea or you want to take a note on something, you just do notion.new in your workspace and it will create a new page for you and you can start typing away. I hope that you guys enjoyed these seven shortcuts. These are definitely essentials. If you haven't memorized these yet, I recommend you guys learn these and memorize them and it'll just make moving around Notion a lot smoother for you. All right, if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of my other Notion videos. I've got a whole playlist of Notion videos that you can see. Uh, I will have those linked right over, right over here on this end screen here. And you can check that out. Also like this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, comment if you have any questions or anything like that. I'm always open to answering those. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.